Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Critical and welcome back to episode 2 of Vortex Fade. Uh, that is what I'm calling this little mini-series here. Uh, so if you missed the last episode, we are playing in Minecraft 21W11A with a resource pack made by Onaware. Still don't know if I'm saying that right, I need to look. Uh, but basically what this does is that it adds like this fading effect to blocks where they just kind of like randomly dissipate a certain distance from the player. It looks like it's about 10 blocks or so. Um, but we're also, this is at the same time, our first Minecraft 1.17 playthrough. So I'm like trying to learn all the 1.17 mechanics while also playing with this. And it's, it's been crazy. Uh, but we got our first little bit of copper here and I just want to craft some copper blocks. These are my first copper blocks that I've ever crafted. Can you make bricks too? How do, I don't know how you make the bricks. Let's see. Cop, copper. Um... I don't know how you make bricks. I don't know if that's a different, uh, maybe a different recipe. I don't know, but let's check this out. Let's put them over here. Cool, we'll let those sit there and we may come back in a little bit and look and see if they've uh, faded at all. I don't know the times for how long those take to fade. So we'll find out. But we have this massive, mm. oh, that skeleton will absolutely knock us down. And we are kind of doing a hardcore series. This isn't technically a hardcore world but I am treating it as such, so when we die, that is it. That is the series. We are done. Uh, and we need to move on. Spider? Spider? Ow! Rude. Rude skeleton. This, we are nearing the first time that I will ever go below Y0 in the new Minecraft snapshots, or in 1.17. This will be the first time. This is crazy. Again, I make snapshot videos, so I, like, I'm aware of the changes and stuff as they come. Uh, there's a link in the description to, out, to my playlist as well as the resource pack. There's a link to my playlist where you can check out all of my snapshot videos if you're curious about any of the features that you are seeing here. Uh, but let's get down here. Is that diamond? Holy crap, we found diamond. <laughs> what? I didn't even know this still spawned above uh, in the normal, like, world. I don't, it's, not, it's not really the normal world. It's just, like, above, uh, above Y0. I thought that they changed it so that it all spawned below Y0, but that's pretty cool. We can make a diamond pick or something now. I'm going to wait a little bit on that, though. Um, this is our first creeper. That will have killed in Minecraft 1.17. Oh my goodness. Not not as exciting of a feat as the other things. Hey, buddy, can you not? We've already killed a skeleton in Minecraft 1.17, so this isn't as exciting. This is more of a nuisance. We had our, we had our first copper last episode. Not like a policeman, but like the ore. Can you not? Okay. This is the first time I've walked on deep slate. This is crazy. Look at this gold. We've struck deep slate gold. I don't know if gold spawns above deep slate anymore. Again, I don't know what all the numbers are. They've been changing those numbers a lot. That's one thing that I haven't been keeping up with is like the ore level numbers. Um, They've been kind of all over the place, like going back and forth as they try to tweak and perfect the uh, the new spawning mechanics for everything. So I haven't, oop, a little bit of lag. I haven't uh, been keeping up with that too well. Let's cook this iron real quick. Um, make some more of these, because it's cool. Actually, I'm gonna mine these up. Um, I'm gonna put them there. By the way, if you're noticing any visual glitches, I mentioned this in the first episode as well. Yeah, look at these, these are so cool. That's so cool. Um, there are some visual glitches with this resource pack just because of what it's trying to accomplish. And uh, it literally released like 10 minutes before I recorded the next episode or something. Like I, I jumped straight into it. So uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what, let's make a diamond pick. Let's go, let's, let's jump into it. Diamond pickaxe and we'll make a, um, whoops. Actually, an axe is literally the last thing that I need underground, so we're gonna make a shovel. 
even though I literally have not used the first shovel. Let's get rid of you, you, you. We'll hang on to that, actually, and we'll use that for some stuff still. Get rid of that. That can stack. I'm going to need more coal. Doot, doot. Or torches, I should say. Put that down here. We'll throw that in there. Okay. Let's head back downstairs. Where did I go? And I guess let's start mining and see if we can find another cave. Our goal here is, of course, to kill the dragon. Um, but right now, my goal is just to get geared up. So I think... Wow, this is slow. That is significantly slower than... Uh, okay, bat. You gotta go. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be like that, but you got in my way. You got in the way of my money. You had to go. Had to get rid of you. Sorry. Okay. All right. Cobbled deep slate. I forgot that it did that. It makes a cool sound. Uh, all right, I guess I'm looking for like another cave a little further down. What do I need? So we talked about last episode maybe getting an enchantment table, but not necessarily like a full enchantment table. Um, and then of course we're gonna have to get ender pearls at some point and go find the stronghold. I'm probably just gonna go trade with piglins for that. So we are gonna need a significant amount of gold. So I guess right now diamonds and gold are kind of our priority as well as obsidian whenever we can find some lava. Ooh, problem. I don't know. Does lava spawn yet? Because I know that they, uh, for a while there, lava didn't actually spawn. That's a question that I'll have to answer if we don't find any soon. <laughs> uh, if obsidian doesn't spawn, we may have to go find a village, which is going to be super difficult because... Um, actually, I don't know what we're going to do. Because I can't see anything. Because, of course, ten blocks away from me, that chaos happens. So there's no way for me to go upstairs and see if there's a village around. Huh. A little bit more planning maybe needed to go into this, but uh, hopefully we can find a little bit of obsidian around. We'll see how things go. We at least have the, uh, the lapis necessary to enchant with once we get there. If we get there. What is the alternative? I mean, we have to get to the nether. We have to find a portal. I guess I could find a ruined portal. Like, I could wander around and hope to find a ruined portal. But, I mean, that's the same chance as finding a village. Uh, okay. How do we want to handle this? I don't... Ri okay, there's a wall there. Let's go over to the wall. And go down over here. Hey, look! My first tough. Sweet. This is much quicker to mine. Holy crap. Wow. Okay. Oh, wait. Am I in water right now? I am. This is visually glitched, so I'm actually standing in water right now, even though it looks like it's a block down. Um... Oh, boy. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. All right. Ow. I'm trying to just see. Wow. Okay. That's terrifying. I don't like anything that we're looking at. I want to leave now. I'm not ready for this. This is not, uh, nope. we're not ready for water caves. We're not, uh, I'm not mentally prepared for that just yet. We may have to uh, head a different direction. Let me go see if that stuff finished smelting. I should have brought that uh, furnace down with me so that we could continue on. So far though, I mean, honestly, what's changed, right? Like I'm trying to think of like, from a starting standpoint, I don't think it took us much longer to find diamonds there. I could have just gotten really, really lucky by finding them right there. But honestly, it really didn't take us too long to find diamonds um, in comparison to normal. So it may not be as much of a uh, 
as much of a thing as I would have previously thought. Obviously, I mean, the game still will change. To get, like, a full set of armor, you're going to need to do a lot of mining. And uh, there are a lot of changes. I'm not, like, downplaying how significant this this change or this update is. But uh, it may not be as, like, game changer as I initially thought. Like, I kind of low-key expected, like, start game to take a significantly longer time to get through. Um, does this trick still work, by the way? Where you can do this thing to get your bubbles back? Yeah, it does. Old school Minecraft. Here we go. This is even more terrifying, because there's a... Uh... I can't see, like, ten blocks in front of me. Uh-oh. Let's do this again. What happens when I run out of torches because I'm not picking them up fast enough? Whoops. Might have should have planned this through a little more. Oh wait, hold on. Me has plan. Yeah. Okay. Actually, me has me has better plan. I'm gonna take I should stop saying me has. That's I sound like an idiot. I have. Uh, so it sounds like there are some, some redstone there. Let's place this down, get our bubbles back. This is an interesting way to traverse caves with like a little, uh, magma cube. This is kind of cool because there's not going to be like any, uh, there's not going to be any mobs in these water caves. Since there aren't any, um, okay, he can't actually see me. So I can look at that enderman without problems. Uh, anyways, what was I was saying, there's not any mobs in here. Because there's not, I mean, there's drowned in the game, but uh, I don't think they spawn in situations like this. Okay, so we're going to place this down because I want to grab this gold. And this is going to take a moment, but we do need it, so I'm going to grab it. And might as well get our first redstone of Minecraft 1.17. Boom. Hello, thank you. Okay. Well, it looks like we can go down a little further here. Keep doing this. This is a very interesting mechanic that I can carry this around because I can seem to break this pretty quick in comparison to everything else. So it is a good way of actually traversing here and uh, collecting materials as well. This is actually a pretty nice little trick to find early on, because it's not that hard to get magma blocks, you just have to swim to the ocean a little bit. Uh, which would be easier to find an ocean. Ow, forgot that I have to shift. It'd be easier to find an ocean if I could see more than 10 blocks in front of me. So on a normal playthrough, this wouldn't actually be that bad. Okay. Interesting. I think... I don't know where they are. Am I at the top of a water? Okay. I am on... Um, I have no idea what's happening. Okay, let's go over here. Yeah. Actually, wait, is this water here? It is, so I'm not safe. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm safe, but I just said it. No, false. Because the water's going to flow here, yeah. Visual glitch, visual glitch making this more scary. Uh, this is cool, though. We're on, like, a... Uh... Like, this is weird. Like, there's water here, but there's also water down there. I kind of want to go down here because there's some gold. So let's, um, do a little bit of the staircase in business. Hello, Zombert. 
killing my first zombie of Minecraft 1.17. Bam. Destroyed. Absolutely wrecked. Okay, that's all underwater, even though it doesn't look it. So if I place two blocks here. Yeah, there we go. Again, I need um, I need gold for the sake of trading with piglins. I am swimming through a cave right now. How crazy is this? Lava. That's actually fantastic. I need to get a bucket. I'm swimming through a cave. This is so cool. Mojang, you've, 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 you've done well. You've done great with this update. I don't have enough to make it. Oh, I do. Hold on. Uh, boop. Uh, you've done fantastically with this. This is amazing. I'm going to just turn this into obsidian and then collect it, but I need a water bucket. Uh, boop. And... And I find this amazing, and I can only see like 10 blocks in front of me, so you know you've done well. Alright, let's grab this. I can't see how long it's going to take me to break it, but we'll find out. There we go. Ice bucket challenge, first piece of bed or bedrock, first piece of obsidian. Uh, I realize now, though, that I can make it to the nether. Which is nice. Wait, I've done that already. Don't do that again. Okay. Now we have a full suit of iron armor. Sweet. So I just need, um, I mean, I still need more gold probably. Uh, there's no way that's gonna get me 12 ender pearls. Unless I get extremely lucky. Um, so let's test out branch mining. What level am I at? I don't even know what. So we're at negative 19. There's a slime over there. We're at negative 19, but I have no idea what that means. Because I don't know what levels everything spawns at. So like, I don't know if I should be going down. Also, the water levels are all local, so there's like, I could run into more water this way, even though it's below me right now. Um, there does seem to be a significant amount of gold at like the higher lower levels, if that makes sense. Like the upper negatives. I seem to be finding gold pretty frequently. Luckily, I grabbed a ton of wood because uh, I'm blowing through torches here. I don't know where diamond is most common. This is interesting. I feel like I'm discovering Minecraft for like the first time. Like I have a little bit of knowledge of what's going on, but it's like, as far as like techniques and stuff, I know nothing. I am Jon Snow. I don't have the muscle for that. Anyways, uh, um, let's continue here. I don't know how long I want to branch mine for. I don't know if branch mining is even useful anymore because I think all the ores are at different levels. So if you're branch mining, like, you're not necessarily going to find everything. Like, I know copper doesn't spawn below zero, so we're not going to run any more of that down here. Also, would it be worth poking holes in the sides here? Just to see if anything else spawned. Probably. I mean, we did just run into gold in this level, so there is gold at least. Um, so it's probably worth just looking. Let's go one more look right here. Question is how common? Am I getting lucky in finding a ton? Or is it actually this common down at these levels? 
Oh, that's just the cave. Okay. There's a creeper over there, but like I have no idea where he is in relation to where I currently am. Um, I mean, we could also go cave diving again and see if we find anything. Because it's actually relatively easy to do, provided you have a magma block. I'm swimming toward creepers, but like, where are they? Let's get all this back. There's a fish down here. That is awesome that fish can spawn down here. I wasn't sure if there were gonna be animals or anything that spawned in these waters, but that's really cool. It adds, wow, that is like some atmosphere. Like somehow a fish got down here. Obviously it just spawned down here, but like you could make an argument that somehow it found a little way to swim down here and it's been living down here. That's so cool. Um, Are you like close to me? Or are you on the other side of a wall? You're close. Danger. 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 Okay. You've made a mistake, though. By coming closer. I do need arrows, actually. Oh, there's another one. He sees me. He witnesses me. No. Oh, hold on. Again, hardcore. I don't have... I don't want to fight this guy in water. Oh, boy. I say as I send him back to the depths. I do want his arrows, though. We are going to need a ton of arrows for uh, dragon fight. All right, let's get rid of some stuff here because I have so much crap in my inventory. Hold on. So don't need dirt. I do need that. I love diorite, but I don't need it. I don't need granite. I don't really need andesite or tough either. I don't need any of that stuff. Keep all this. We'll keep the feathers because we might be able to make some more um, some more things here. I don't think I need redstone for anything. Uh, I don't really need the copper actually, even though it's cool to have. And I do need the gold, everything else I need. Okay. I'm out of food though. We may have to head back up and uh, go exploring a little bit. You know what? Yeah, let's head upstairs. Let's go explore for some... Oh, man. Oh, man. How do I get... Okay. We have actually a minor problem. How on earth do I get out of this cave system? Like, I was very good about making staircases and stuff until such point as I entered the water cave. And then I swam for, like, 30 blocks. Okay. This is where I came in to this level. This is where I found that gold. And I entered here. I swam up from this direction. You guys are going to get to witness my amazing Minecraft directional skills that in no way transfer to real life. Let's plop this down. That's also a really good way of telling how how high up this room goes, at least for what I'm doing right now. Not that that would be an issue in the normal game, but. And I think I came through this little area here. Yeah, I think this is correct. That right there is where I got this. Look at that. From there, I definitely came from this way, but I want to say I swam around from here. And there's my little block. Nice. Look at that. Big brain. I don't know if that was actually big brain, but it'll be good. It'll be fine. We're going to head up. We're going to look for some food. We're going to look for a possibly a destroyed nether portal. Um, if I can see it again, I don't have a lot of render distance, so we're kind of hoping for a lot there. I'd love to find a village as well. If we find a village, we're set. Like, that is absolutely game-changer. Um, where are we going here? Is the sun setting? I think the sun's actually setting, which is not ideal. I don't even have a bed. That's unfortunate. I 
can't tell if it's setting or rising. I just saw that it was low. I think it's setting because it's getting darker. Yeah, the sky's turning bluish, like a dark blue. No. That's unfortunate because I don't have any food. Well, uh, I think what we may do in that case is call this. Is it? Is it actually? Is that what's happening? Hold on. I can't tell. It's all going away from me. Uh, I believe that is what's happening though, and I think what we're gonna do. Uh, I think what we're gonna do is I'm going to AFK, let the sun come back up, and in the meantime, we will end this episode off here and continue on in the next one. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content, and be sure to check the description for links to, as I said, the snapshot playlist and the download link for this resource pack if you'd like to give this challenge a try for yourself. Again, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.